Hey guys, it's Chris. From rocket-powered cars breaking records to super powerful airplanes, here are 10 of the fastest jet vehicles in the world. Number 10, Thrust SCC. In 1997, the Thrust SCC broke the record for the world's fastest car at, get this, 763.035 miles per hour. That seems fast. The Thrust SCC or Thrust Supersonic Car is a twin turbofan jet powered car developed by Richard Noble. The car looks almost like a mini jet plane and is 54 feet long and weighs nearly 10 tons. A Royal Air Force fighter pilot drove the car in the state of Nevada to perform the ultimate test and went 341 meters per second. It was going so fast that it broke the sound barrier by going Mach 1.016, making it the first supersonic record. Of all the records in the world made by cars, this is the one that many try to beat due to it being the biggest pure speed record of the bunch, but none have been able to beat it in over 20 years. Who wants to drive it? I kind of do. What about you? Number 9. X43 Usually when you consider speed records, you believe that they're done with pilots in the cockpit, but that's not always true. And for the NASA vehicle known as the X-43, that is definitively not the case, as this was an experimental kind of jet that was flown in an unmanned mission and achieved legendary results. NASA set the record in November of 2004 during the third and final flight of the experimental X-43A scramjet a supersonic combustion ramjet project. The X-43A demonstrated an advanced form of air-breathing jet engine could power an aircraft nearly 10 times the speed of sound. Data from the unpiloted 12-foot-long research vehicle shows its revolutionary engine worked successfully at Mach 9.6, that's approximately 7,000 miles per hour, as it flew over the Pacific Ocean west of California. This is the official world record, certified from the Guinness Book of World records, officially stating that the X-43 was able to do this. On November 16, 2004, NASA's unmanned Hyper-X aircraft reached Mach 9.6. The X-43A was boosted to an altitude of 33,223 meters, that's 109,000 feet, by a Pegasus rocket launched from beneath a B-52B jet aircraft. The revolutionary scramjet aircraft then burned its engine for around 10 seconds during its flight over the Pacific Ocean. While unmanned, this test flight showed just how capable certain kinds of engines can be, and that they can go much faster than even the best of manned jets that are available right now. The problem, though, is that at Mach speeds like 9.6, the stress on the pilot would be extreme, so much so that it would take a lot of effort and skill just to pilot the jet which is likely why, despite being done in 2004, there haven't been attempts to use this kind of speed in modern fighter jets. Number 8. Parker Solar Space Probe In space, speed is a whole other story. Because certain things like satellites and other craft have to go much faster as distances between objects are much greater. With that in mind, NASA created the Parker Solar Space Probe, which was launched in 2018 and made it the fastest ever human-made object relative to the sun, which is appropriate as this probe is going to the sun to study it. At present, the fastest speed it's been officially clocked at is 153,454 miles per hour, with small bursts of speed going even faster than that. The speed of the craft is impressive, even if the NASA team play it off is no big deal. Designing something to go fast in space is pretty much the same as you would design it to go slow in space. Space has nothing to really impede its progress. Parker Solar Probe Project Manager Andrew Dreisman of the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory said during a NASA news conference on August 9th, the spacecraft doesn't know it's going fast. What might surprise you though is that the Parker Solar Space Probe is aiming to go even faster. You see, the distance between the Earth and Sun is about 93 million miles. So as the probe gets closer to the sun, it'll go faster and faster. Eventually, it'll reach a speed of about 430 miles per hour. This speed puts it well over 10 times the speed of the legendary Voyager space probe, which goes only a paltry 78,000 miles per hour. If this kind of speed can be applied to other probes, it's possible to reach the outsides of the solar system, which is the goal of the Voyager probes, but it'll take a long time to get there at their current velocities. 
but that hasn't been tested or deployed just yet. And now for number 7, but first let me know which one you think is the most impressive in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to WorldList for more videos like these. Number 7. Apollo 10 Technically speaking, manned spacecraft use a mix of jets and rockets to get themselves off the ground, which is why NASA has the Jet Propulsion Lab, a place where many people come together and try to improve the ability of these rockets and jets to make them better spacecraft. Weirdly though, the fastest that a manned spacecraft has ever gone was one of the earliest missions into space via Apollo 10. The spacecraft raced back to Earth at a speed of 24,791 miles per hour relative to Earth, which is indeed the fastest spaceflight recorded, even with numerous other missions since that point. If you're unfamiliar with the Apollo 10 mission, well, here we go. Apollo 10 astronauts Cerna, John Young, and Tom Stafford orbited the moon in their command module Charlie Brown and lunar module Snoopy. Later, Stafford and Cerna took the Snoopy lunar lander down to within 50,000 feet of the moon's surface before returning to dock with the Charlie Brown module. While the Apollo 10 mission was the fastest manned spaceflight ever, that record is aiming to be broken rather soon. There are numerous space agencies including NASA, but also SpaceX and more, who are aiming to create and use rockets and jets that will have the speed of craft going much, much faster. The goal of this is to get people to Mars, which at our current speed limit in terms of manned spacecraft would be unfeasible to use. Thus the desire to make faster engines, and tests from entities like SpaceX are scheduled to start manned flights this year in 2020. Number 6. Eurofighter Typhoon Back in 1983, there was a desire to make jet fighters who could go beyond the visual range of combat as well as do what's needed to be done in battle. And the Eurofighter Typhoon was one of the results of that. This jet was actually the result of a group of countries that comprised the Eurofighter Consortium, which consisted of Germany, Italy, the UK, and Spain. The idea was to pool resources and ideas so they could create a jet fighter that was multi-purpose and could do battle in the air, on the ground, and be far-reaching. And they succeeded. The Eurofighter Typhoon is outfitted with some of the best European missiles the countries have to offer, as well as advanced avionics to ensure it has full awareness of its surroundings. Though admittedly not as good as jets like the F-22 Raptor, including only reaching a max speed of Mach 1.5, it does stand on its own and is superior to other fighter jets. Many feel this will be the cornerstone of new jets for the consortium as time goes on. It was officially introduced to the world in 2003 and is in use to this day. Also, it proved how nations could come together to make a very powerful and competent jet fighter. Number 5. JF-17 Thunder The jet known as the JF-17 Thunder is special in many ways, including what its name means, Joint Fighter. That's because this particular unique jet was made in collaboration between China and Pakistan. The Pakistani Air Force was full of very old fighter jets, so China wished to help bolster them with an effective yet low-cost model. Thus, the JF-17 Thunder was born. Originally, the JF-17 Thunder was built for aerial reconnaissance, ground attack, and aircraft interception. However, a more recent upgrade to the JF-17B has made it much more useful via air-to-air -air refueling, better sensors and armaments, and even the ability to engage in electronic-style warfare when appropriate. The jet is also able to reach a top speed of Mach 1.8. Add to that, a third model of the JF-17 Thunder is said to be in development right now, which would likely add even more powers and capabilities to an already powerful jet. Since its introduction, the Pakistani Air Force has made over a hundred of these craft, and they use them for various missions in their nation and to help control the skies. Number 4. Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet The F Super Hornet is considered the best U.S. Navy jet in service today as well as serving as the main jet fighter of the Royal Air Force of Australia with a top speed of Mach 1.8. The first of the F Super Hornet was made in 1995, but large-scale production of the jet was put into production in 1997 after Boeing had acquired full rights to it. One of the things that makes this particular jet so special is that it's one of the few remaining jets in use that has guns and not just missiles. In this case, it has the 20mm M61 rotary cannon, allowing for close-range dogfights when the need arises. 
Obviously, the Super Hornet also has various kinds of missiles, including ones designed to work solely in the air or be used to target objects on the ground. Many countries have made bids to get the Super Hornet into their own air forces, proving how many see the value of this particular craft. Number 3. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle You'd think that after 30 years of service, that a plane like the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle would eventually be taken out of the lineup, so to speak. But instead, the F-15 Eagle has proven time and time again that this craft is something to behold, and it deserves your respect. While this is an air superiority fighter, it's also one that is meant to penetrate the defenses of enemy bases which it has proven time and time again, for this is a plane that as a series has had over 100 kills, and that includes kills during the Cold War era, where it was easily one of the most successful aircraft the United States had at the time. One of the reasons for this was its special electronics, which it could use to track and lock onto enemy fighters even when in enemy territory, where such signals would usually be scrambled. Between that and its high speeds, high maneuverability, and the ability to carry many missiles, the United States Air Force intends to keep the F-15 Eagle around until 2025. Of course, a major reason for the success of the F-15 Eagle is its speed, which thanks to some very powerful engines, is able to rocket the F-15 to speeds of 2.5 times the speed of sound. Weirdly enough though, many of the kills in the F-15 Eagle were done by the Israeli Air Force and not the United States. Number 2. Mikoyan MiG-31BM the MiG series of jet fighters are by and large the most recognizable jets that Russia has ever used, and their usage in the Korean and Vietnam Wars have made them a staple of air warfare. With the Mikoyan MiG-31BM, we have the latest model of this esteemed line, but it also proves that jet design has come a long way since. In terms of raw power and speed, the Mikoyan MiG-31BM has the ability to average a speed of Mach 2.83 when it pushes itself. However, upon further pushing, it was found that the jet could reach a blistering Mach 3.2. However, pushing a plane this far would damage the engine, and thus risk the security of the jet itself, so such pushing wasn't advised. Even with that restriction, the MiG-31BM was a massive upgrade to the standard MiG-31, and once the results showed, all of those original aircraft were turned into the MiG-31BM. Why? Well, the older models were still sturdy, but they were starting to lag behind in features and abilities. The MiG-31BM got the ability to do ground attacks, as well as long-range interceptions, precision strikes and defense suppression missions. As of 2017, 117 of these jet fighters were made and put into service. The jet isn't the best in the air, but it's still very effective, and both this version and the older versions are scheduled to be in use until 2030. All told, versions of the MiG-31 have been made over 500 times. Number 1. Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor In the USA, the F-22 Raptor is still widely considered one of the best fighter jets ever made. This is due to several factors. First and foremost, the F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet that is nearly invisible to all radar systems, which makes it invaluable for both recon and precision strikes. Second, it was built for true superiority, which means it has range, maneuverability, and the weaponry to take to the skies and take out all opposition. This is helped in part by its vast array of missiles. Later versions of the F-22 Raptor were outfitted to be even more versatile, including being able to do ground strikes. Plus, the engines of the F-22 are so powerful, they could get the jet soaring up to 1,500 miles per hour on average, and it was so efficient, it could span a range of 1,600 nautical miles. But at times, the jet can go so fast that it reaches Mach 3.5, which is an astounding 2,685 miles per hour. If this is a race, this jet will not let us lose. The Mach eases to 3.5 as we crest 80,000 feet. We are a bullet now, except faster. Major Brian Schull, author of Sled Driver. The craft was first produced in 1997 and was introduced to the United States Air Force in 2005, where it was later made one of their key planes. The Air Force has raved about this plane for years and hailed it as unmatched by most other fighter jets. The only downside to the Raptor is the price tag of $150 million, and as such, the last new one was made in 2012. 
However, they're still in use today and are still considered one of the deadliest jets around and one of the fastest things ever built by man. Thanks for watching. What do you think about these fast jet vehicles that are all around the world today? Is there one you think is the best of the bunch? Is there one that you personally would love to fly if you got the chance? If so, which one? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List and I'll see you next time.